This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutation viewers, Valdor back here with another episode of Vanguard Bandits and... Wait, what's this? Why are we in the desert fighting Rad, uh, Radcott again and being surrounded by all of his men? Well, I thought it was a good time, and at least at this point in the game, to show the alternate ra uh, alternate uh, stories that can happen if you, just, if you actually survive the battle against Radcott. So, let's look at our surroundings again. This, like before, we are surrounded by... Let's see, nine, I think it was like four, eight, yeah, nine uh, Moose Bull units and Radcott himself, dangerous as always. We got all the characters from before, however, I uh, loaded up an old save file from something else, did a uh, little bit of uh, different level grinding for everyone, so hopefully I can survive it this time. So let's look at our options now. So we got Galvis, Galvis is still level 10. Uh, he's got all of his options from before, though he has the ability, he might have had this before, but Siri Flame. Uh, as a support option, which I'll show you about here in a second. We've got Barlow. Unfortunately, Barlow hasn't leveled up as well in this version of it, so he's a, a bit low. I gave most of the levels to Bastion so he could survive it. Uh, yeah, Barlow's only gained A level since I got him. Whoops! Yeah, unfortunately that happens. If you're trying to do like certain runs or levels, you have to like kind of just forget other characters, which almost makes Barlow worthless. I hate to say it, but... Anyway, Raina, I gave her a few levels from before. I gave her a bunch of agility so she can run through quicker. She's unlocked ice shards, which you get from having, I think, nine decks and and like like twelve agility or something like that. I think that's how it works. But anyway, she's got that. Uh, oh, they also have new weapons. Uh, I forgot to uh, in my other playthrough. I've forgotten to shop, so I'm a little bit behind on my equipment. But uh, yeah, she's got the Parson. All the uh, characters have the Pursues, which gives them weapon damage and uh, dex. And uh, I'll show Bastion here in a second. Uh, Galvis has that as well. Uh, oh, I also bought them accessories. They all have the accessories for them as well. Let's see, is it on? Oh, the Fairy Ring, Earring, which is a dex upgrade, I believe. Uh, armor Amulet raises your armor, or your defense, I mean. Thieves Ring raises your agility, so you can move faster. Also gave it to him as well. Uh, gave Rain of the Partisan. And Zara gave him a Fairy Earring as well for his decks, just to even him out a bit. And actually, by even out his decks a bit, I unlocked Tornado for him as well. So he's got a, even though he's still controlled by the AI, he's got a few more ability options to use as well. He also has Roaring Wind, but that doesn't help because it's the AI and he'll never use that. All right, let's look at Bastion. Before, when I fought Radcott, I think I was like level 8, maybe 9. So I'm level 10 for this fight, so I've given him most of the kills that I could. Uh, I've raised his agility quite a bit so he'll uh, take the first turn. Because I think when I first started this fight, I think I think either one of the moves... I think Radcott went first, but in this case, Bastion's going first. Anyway, oh, oops, uh, let me go back to that. Gave the Quicksilver, which raises his... Uh, agility and weapon damage. I gave an armor amulet just in case if he gets hit, it takes a little less damage. Um, he's got a strength slash, and that's it. So anyway, let's see what happens if we actually survive the ambush of Radcott. Yeah, look at that. With all of my agility, I have enough AP to just run. So this—that's basically how you survive this fight: is just give Bastion a lot of agility. Hopefully, he goes first or takes more turns. And then that way we can get all of our uh, companions over there to actually help them. Because last time we did this, I got wrecked almost immediately. So yeah, it really depends on how you build your characters. Um, although this build makes Bastion a bit weaker in pure strength because I gave him like a ton of agility. Although if I kept with this run, I would definitely start uh, going back to making Bastion a bit more uh, balanced. Um, now you can still possibly die, but with the... Oh yeah, with high agility, you have really low chances to uh, hit. I mean, they might still hit, but uh, I basically by raising my agility, I've affected the percentages to give me more chances to uh, survive. Yeah, I'll just uh, keep avoiding. Countering is nice, but it uh, it gives you the also gives you the possibility to get hit too, so you have to be careful. So. I need to remember, if I play with this run on, I might keep this file for a while to do some alternate, uh, to, for the alternate ending to, uh, oh man, Zero, even you suck at this point. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're still in the sand spot, so we have to be careful about, no, that's not enough to get my roaring flame off. Oh well, that's fine. Actually, let's see, okay. I'd show you roaring flame, but, uh, 
He doesn't have enough movement for that. What's since I need full movement? Oh, let's move up here. That was good. Okay. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna actually survive this. And yeah, Red caught. If Bastion isn't there, he stays put. So that helps us out a bit more too. That means we have the whole time to kill the Mooseful, Mooseful Knights. Eh, not enough room for. Uh... Oh well. Yeah, that's the sad thing about this desert place is that not having enough movement to uh, do anything until. Yeah, this is why I gave Bastion all that agility so he can move quicker, and we can put him in line so we can. Uh... This is also the, also the good thing about surviving this fight is that it gives you a chance to uh, um, get your other characters some levels. Because when I did this before, the battle pretty much ended, so I didn't give like anyone a chance to do anything. So okay, she has a. Uh, I could hit from far away. And use either our new Ice Shards ability or a Wand Thrust. Oh, she'll hit either way, so do Wand Thrust. Ice Shards, uh, basically it's just a weaker Rage Attack. Really, her getting it isn't as helpful. It's something you kind of want to maybe give Barlow and perhaps Devlin. Barlow for sure, if, if you're going to make him as weak as he is. But anyway. Uh, Rakot finally moves. Okay, good. Alright, yeah, I need to... Um, uh, basically, my thought with this fight is, oh, by the, I don't know if I ever mentioned the cat counter uh, ability. Basically, what counter is is if the guy misses, you have a chance to hit as well. But if he hits you, you don't get the chance to hit back. So, anyway. uh, if I just do straight defend, his deck, his defend is higher anyway, so he takes less damage. And I've noticed the Ratosks or whatever they're called that Devlin and Barlow win. Um, have a higher initial defense rating, it seems like, than, than other mechs for some reason. I know the defense rating is higher than the other characters overall, but um, yeah, isn't it nice that Bastion like almost never gets hit now? Of course, with X, with these numbers, XCOM wise, there's always a chance you're going to uh, get hit, but still, I could do fireball. That's probably better, but let's see, do we get? Yeah, we'll have to actually do some damage to some people. There we go. Can we move? Yeah, we can. Nice. All right. Uh, Bastion, I want you to start assisting with damage so we can give uh, Barlow and Devlin the experience if we can. Actually, you might get some decent experience for them because they're giving 25 per hit. I have to be careful about Devlin though, because Devlin's taken way too much damage in the last. Er, he's in this run of the game. Devlin's died multiple times, so his morale with me is poor. Although morale doesn't isn't as important until the very end of the game, but still. Actually, I don't even think it has any importance in the alternate other... Yeah, I'll just defend with him, too. Yeah, it takes more FP to defend, but still. Good thing we have Zara here to help us out. Tack? Why are you tackling? Yeah, it does more damage, but... Ugh, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, I have to be careful with this fight just because of the whole they can basically move around you. Yeah, what's that? Okay, yeah, I'll have to. Oh, yeah, Devil finally got Strength Slash on this version. I think I had it on the other variation of him as well, but. Alright. Barlow, you get some experience. Or start working on experience. We need some levels for you, buddy. Really badly. Well, I'd rather... Well, at least he hit. Yay! Yay! Alright, anyway. Um, uh, Barlow really just needs defense and hit. Uh, and some HP, so we'll... Raise his defense, give the ability to hit, and... HP will help him out more than anything. Ooh, that guy's stunned. Nice. Only the bad thing about that is Zero might start a... Uh-oh. Uh, let's defend. I knew you were plotting to harm his highness, you co co corpulent bag of pus. You're not going to touch him. You're going to die at my hand. Calm down, my friend. Violence is entirely unnecessary. Prince Bash and I are merely going to cooperate and make a better world for us all. <laughs> Shut up, scoundrel. I'll cut out your black heart long before you fulfill your evil wishes. Oh, we missed. Nice. Rakot seems to have poor defense, if I remember correctly. Alright, do we want to keep... I kind of want to keep Devlin in the... Oh, that's not good. Okay, hardly. Might give, uh... 
might not do anything with Bastion, because if you have AP when you end a fight, you can reduce your FP usage. Or you can reduce how much FP you've... Not by much, but you have... Uh... Yeah, I'll keep uh, Bastion on... Because... Uh... Uh... Yeah, I don't want Bastion to get stars now. Stars! You know. How much FP does it take to defend a bit more? Anyway, we'll keep avoiding, and hopefully we get lucky. Yeah. Alright. To give that kill to either Barlow or Reyna. All right, keep. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, we could uh, give him the. Uh, let's see, we have an option to. Okay, let's do kick to do just some damage, but nothing too fancy, because he doesn't need the experience. And we'll give Searing Flame. Searing Flame is the ability, and I think this is based off the gems you have equipped, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the Jasper gives you Roaring Flame when you hit a certain skill point. This allows you to increase weapon damage. Yeah, I haven't showed skills off yet in my other playthrough because I haven't given everyone the right stats or, or I've missed out so many levels, so... Oh, well. Anyway, we'll do that so at least Reyna has some, uh... And we'll give that... Keep that... Well, I think Zero won't kill him. Hopefully not, anyway. It's hard to say with Zero. Nice. All right. Keep Reyna there, I think. Really, I expect Devlo and Barlow to die again, most likely. And yeah. Yeah, we want to keep because if Ashia dies, the fight ends automatically, so we're still in that requirement, so be careful. Ugh, I really don't like that. God, Rita takes way too much damage. That's the problem with having so little defense. I may have to uh stick with uh stick with uh Ooh, he his FP got hit. Well luckily uh Alright, took some damage from that. Ah, come on, Zara. Alright, anyway. Could just attack. Oh, that'll that'll fill his FP up, never mind. Yeah, I'd rather defend still. Yeah, I might have to focus soon on getting rid of Oh yeah, because of Reyna's high uh um Agility, she goes more regularly than everyone else. Same with Bastion. Or they have a higher chances of a... Maybe I should move to... Okay. Alright, Devlin. We need to get you some experience. Well, if he dies, at least I gave him... At least I got him A-level for this fight. I might have to, might have to go towards Ratcot now. To, uh... Oh, man. Why do I feel like she's gonna die? Whew. I could save during the fight, just to, you know, get whatever, but... Oh, man. Barlow... Yeah, Barlow's dex is pretty bad. Whew. Nice. He needs those levels, man. Give Barlow the levels. Alright. Might give him a bit more power so he can survive, uh... So I can do a bit more damage. Nothing too fancy, but all right, might uh move him over here so if Rain and him don't get back attacked. Well, okay, okay, good. Zara's going after Ratcot. That's pretty much what you want. Is you want Zara to, uh, if if you're lucky, get him to uh, uh over there. Maybe do a strength attack. I might go ahead and weaken Ragcod. That might be my best bet, because I'm afraid of uh, possibly losing out on... Uh... Alright. Keep him from back attacks. Yeah, Devil's probably going to die. They're most likely going to surround him. I gave him some defense, but there's always so much I can do for Devlin. Arena, yeah. You don't have enough HP, so you just have to hope the percentages work in your favor. Alright. Yeah, we haven't been doing much damage to our noosable people. This is a hard fight, so don't don't let me say or don't let me try to change your mind or try to uh uh think it's easy in any way, so not like I ever said it was straight out easy, but I have to 
only problem with fighting like that is you don't get any movement to uh, adjust your stat, or not stature. Uh... Yeah, goodbye, Devlin. Shouldn't have done strength attack, should have done something else. Yeah, Devlin's uh, morale with me is very low at this point in the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna defend. If I had been able to adjust Barlow's and uh, Devlin's uh, levels a bit better, they'd probably be surviving. Or this this uh, encounter would be a bit better off. Man, I'm not doing that good for this fight, relatively speaking. Especially the fact that I've lost a character already. And he's just going to take out her. Yeah, sorry, sometimes I'm, I'm trying to pay attention, so, like, if I don't talk for, like, a few seconds, I'm trying to figure out how to survive this encounter. I'm gonna have to start having Bastion just straight up working on killing dudes, because I can't really survive otherwise. And I'm gonna have to have Galvis actually hurt people. That would be perfect, but I'm not gonna be able to do any of my strong attacks. Overall, my uh, percentages seem to be working in my favor. Oh wow, the fact that Zara's actually hitting him every time is really helping out. Uh, oh wait, what's his thing? 24 freeze and fireball? So that would... Hmm. So I can't use fireball because I would use up my... Uh... Yeah, I might just keep keep on, uh, keep on Radcott. Just to, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the fact that Galvis would be, uh, in a... Oh, good. Can we give him a run? <laughs> Prince Bastion and his soldiers are much stronger than I assumed. I will need to assess the best way to acquire Bastion's cooperation. Oh, and they run away. Nice. Yeah, I probably could have fought him more to get more levels, but that, that fight's already precarious as it is. Whew. And we beat Radcott. That's it. That's how you do it. And if we do th this way, we do unlock a, a unique attack for us in, uh, I think, like two or three chapters. So the difference... You get two different ones depending on if you win or lose this fight. Anyway... Duke Radcott didn't know anything about the Ultra Gunner. He simply wanted to kidnap His Highness. Do you now understand why we were so concerned, Your Highness? Because we knew he was up to no good. I would hope that you would disregard anything he or his me messengers might tell you in the future, won't you? I admit, Galvis, you and Zara were absolutely right about him. But it was interesting to hear him mention Faulkner's name. Sorry, I screamed to the mic there. <laughs> I don't believe they are working as a team. But it cannot be denied that there is a connection. We must find out what it is, but right now we must worry about getting to Dion Le Leve. Indeed, Duke Zare. I hope the Marquis has not become impatient with us. That battle was quite a long one. I wonder if we should explain the reason for our delay, or fabricate our less dramatic tale instead. I am uncomfortable with negotiation in the first place. Of course, I always prefer violence. I only hope violence is not necessary to win the loyalty of the Marquis. As usual, Gallus, you are letting worry get the best of you. From everything I've heard about him, Marquis Dion is an honorable man. He doesn't play dirty. I shall be Bastion. It shall be Bastion who gains or loses Dion's alliance, not us. I realize this, Duke Zara, but I have never cared for situations which are out of my control. I have no doubt your highness will forge an alliance with the Marquis. If you harbor so much doubt in your heart, Galvis, people will become as wary of you as you are them. It's impossible to make friends when you are constantly expecting them to become your enemies. 
I know it's never easy to change, Galvis, but can you learn to trust? Your Highness! Or I at least you learn to be less grouchy. I'm not surprised that your brown lines are from your deepest wrinkles. That's right, old man. Learn to take things as they come. Think of it this way. Stop worrying and perhaps your hairline will stop receding. I neither need nor want to experience children telling me about the ways of the world. If my hairline is not receding, I have a prominent widow's peak. Grandpa, did you see the cake Raider made for us? Look at the frosting. Look at the sprinkles. Look! Haha, <laughs> cause he's fat. I don't want cake, you over fat oaf. What? After Raina worked so hard to make it? You're not very nice. I still don't want it. I also want to disappear, so I won't embarrass myself any further. Are you turning red, Galvis? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, working designs and your translations. I mean, that could be the direct translation, too, but I doubt it. Working designs did a lot of, uh, uh, what's the word? They did, I wouldn't say liberties, but, you know, obviously translating stuff with no lines in it, you could be a bit more uh, different with your translations as long as it's within the general field. But anyway, welcome to my castle, Prince Bastion. I am Marquis Dion Leve. I could have done French. Welcome to my castle, Prince Bastion. I am Marquis Dion Leve. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh. The honors is our Marquis Dion. Thank you for meeting with us. I am Galvis Darid, Corps Commander of the Kingdom. And I am Duke Zara, the Avalon Prince of Health. But of course, you know that already. It's been a long time since we last tangled on the battlefield. Oh. Uh, oh, indeed, it has been Duke Zara, but I hear your skills have improved immensely since then. I'm doing them as a vampire now. Marquis Dion, I would have you hear your, our story and understand why we have come. You are impatient, Sir Galvis, but I suppose you have not come for idle chatter. Tell me your tale, then. Yes, Prince Bastion, I understand the words of Algard. The supreme spirit can indeed be found in my country, blah. But I know it was Grac as Gracia, the stone which is key to unlocking the power of the Ultra Gunner. What? Why did you not tell this sooner? You must have known what we were speaking of almost immediately. I apologize, Marquis Dion. I am very excited to what the future holds for Bastion. Please continue. It is a simple command, Galvis. The duty of the Dion Leve family has always been to prank, protect Gracia. I am afraid I only know grow <laughs> I'm afraid I'm only growing more confused, Marquis Dion. Long ago, when the Ultra Gunner was sealed away, my great grandfather pledged to guard it forever. Or until a person of royal blood and pure heart proved himself worthy of reviving its power. Remarkable. My brother never once mentioned any of this to me, but I'm sure he was sworn to secrecy. The pledge of your command has now been fulfilled, Marquis Dion. Please bestow Gracia to his highness, that we may crush the empire and restore the kingdom to greatness. I cannot do that yet, Commander. <laughs> uh, was, was that from StarCraft? Battleship on the line, Commander. What? Why not, Marquis Dion? Prince Bastion has not yet proven so worthy of possessing it. You have heard all that his highness has encountered and experienced, yet you deep and unworthy. If you are unwilling to take Gracia to us, give to Gracia to us, then you force us to take it. Calm down, Galvis. We are not here to wage another war. You must remember, it was only a few days ago that I was declared the Prince of the Kingdom. You obviously know my history and therefore accepted me without question. But there are many who will not be so eager to embrace my existence or my right to the throne. We would be foolish not to expect some credu credu incredu incredulity from people of the continent. Wow, I don't know why I had so much trouble with that line. One of my greatest challenges will be to convince these people that I intend them no harm. If I cannot convince Marquis Dion they am worthy, how else am I going to convince anyone else? Forgive me, Highness. How do I prove my word, Dion? You shall engage in ATAC combat with one of my most skilled soldiers. It has been my experience that the heart of a man is reflected by his action on the field of battle. My father, my father shared in that belief, Marquis Dion. Go forth, Prince Bastion, and show me your word. No, I'm a vampire, because that's the only type of voice I can do. All right. Well, we survived Radcott's trap, and this is what happens when you uh, when you uh, get invited by Radcott and you survive the fight. Like I said, it's not. 
basically, really, the only uh, the challenge is basically surviving long enough for Bastion to get to your gang, and then they can help. But it's still a difficult fight because the Moosebull Knights basically get full AP usage while ours is cut in half, so we don't get to use all of our abilities as often as we want. But uh, we still survive. Basically, giving agility to Bastion really helps with that fight, either not taking any damage or getting enough turns to get away from them in time to carry a group. But yeah, I still don't have a shop, so I can't show you what we bought and everything like that. Oh well, I think we're good on equipment. I'm really just spreading out time because I'm not going to do the next episode yet. Uh, basically, this this two part this this weekend's up set of episodes is basically me going through the alternate route of what happens if you beat Radcott and deal with Dion because we had to uh, go against Dion this time. So let's let's do the interview. Uh, um, let's do some of the interviews. Yeah, Teflon's is like I think there's actually I think isn't that. No, there's one more, um, there's one more morale boost plot to go. It goes, if you're going downwards, it goes, uh, happy, like, yellow face, green triangle, blue sad face, and then red, I think, star? Maybe? But there, there's a red angry face, which is the lowest morale you can get. And then after that, it goes orange star. And there's one more for best one. I forgot what color that is. Or maybe I'm at the highest I am right now. Anyway. Yeah, let's keep talking to Devla, Devlin to uh, uh, get his up. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I want to save it because, hey, you know what? We can just, uh, I'll just not show all the conversation topics. So we'll just choose ones that are fine. Maybe I'll load it up later. Um, yeah, let's do dev ones because we need races up. Bastion, I can't. Bastion, I can't believe you haven't made the moves on Raina yet. She's here, one she man, my friend. Seriously. Oh yeah, no, I'd like her too. But, uh, let's do Barlow because he gets hit all the time. So. I hear the local delicacies and Dion Levy sauteed sea slugs. They cook them in their own slime. And let's do Raina for. Hey, Bastion, I got myself a bottle of the best... Did I do it? Uh, hey, Bastion, I got myself a bottle of the best liquor, Dion Levy. How about you and I share it? Aw, it's nice to get hit on by a lady that only knows for like five seconds originally. And let's do the briefing, we'll call it an episode. So this episode might be a bit shorter than I expected. Alright, so in the next episode, we will have to go to... We'll fight in a Regio, Regio Castle? Your Highness, we must take great care in the arena. Dion's soldiers are considered to be the strongest on the continent. I am not casting doubts on your own strength, of course, Your Highness. I am merely concerned for you. Even if you were to lose, I know that you would fight with honor. Lose? I plan to win, Galvis, and not only with honor, but with style. I will prove to Marquis Dion that I am worthy of the Ultra Gunner. <laughs> Alright, so... We survived Radcott's trap, but in this alternate reality of uh, Vanguard Bandits, we have yet to get the Gracia from Dion Leve, so we must fight him and his troops, well, at least his troops, may not so much him, to get the Gracia. So, can in this timeline Bastion fight the forces of the mercenaries, said to be the strongest on the continent, to get Gracia and unlock the Ultra Gunner, or will he be forced to go back to the kingdom with his tail tucked between his legs? Find out next time in the next episode of Vanguard Bandits. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.